I woke up in the hospital after the accident and saw my husband holding my hand. However, I pretended that I didn't recognize him. Doctor, what is this? Is it permanent? The doctor said that my memory would return, but it would take time. My husband started freaking out. Damn it! I told you to let me drive! George accused me of getting distracted while driving. I received a text on my smartphone and I started reading it. Was that text worth it? How should I deal with everything now? The house, work, the hospital. After that scene, the doctor asked me to accompany her into another room. She thought my husband was abusive toward me and asked me if I needed protection. I told her I didn't want to go home with George and asked her to contact my parents. The doctor made the arrangements and my parents picked me up from the hospital. You look good. Did you really have to call us because of few breezes? I promised my parents that I wouldn't require special care. I just asked them for my old room at home. At that moment, George showed up, suspecting that something was wrong. Isn't it weird? She doesn't recognize her husband, but remembers her room. I was one step away from being exposed, but the doctor saved me. She said that memory can return in fragments and that I would make a faster recovery in a familiar place. My husband didn't argue with the doctor. So I went back to my parents' house and find out that they had turned my bedroom into a meditation room. Mom and I spend a lot of time here, but you can sleep in the attic. Mom warned me that I would have to cook for myself because she and Dad had switched to a Vedic diet. Their food was delivered to them in limited quantities, and my parents made it clear that they are started living for themselves. I told them it was okay and went to sleep. I was eager to sleep because I hadn't done it in so long. However, I didn't manage to fall asleep that night. I kept thinking about how and when I would tell my husband the truth. He was a good man, not abusive at all. It's just that George and I were tired and would often snap at each other. Our son was sick, and we were exhausted. Just seconds before the accident, I received some test results on my phone. And they were bad. The treatment was not working. Reading that made me lose my concentration. When I woke up in the hospital, I decided to press escape realizing that I couldn't cope with it. I wanted to regain my strength first for a new breakthrough instead of going back to reality. While I was dreaming, I heard a car pull up to the house. I looked out into the yard and saw my husband. I went downstairs and found my mother packing my things. 
She told me that there was no point in me staying there. Some friends invited us to India, so George is here to pick you up. They were my parents for only 12 hours. My vacation was over. It was time to be an adult again. Mom gave me a guilty look. She wanted to hear me say that I wasn't mad at her. In fact, I wasn't. I was grateful to her for the lesson. I realized that I would not be able to do that to my child. I couldn't turn away as he begged for help. I went back home, where a seriously ill son was waiting for me. I told him that I would stay with him until the end, until we conquered that disease. We took out a mortgage and went into debt. We also quit traveling and didn't even go to the neighbors for barbecues. However, it was all worth it. Thanks to our efforts, our son was able to take his first steps in years. You won't get rid of your problems by running away. Only dealing with them will make them disappear. Thank <laughs> you.